Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm back with another video of Apex Trigger series. In today's scenario, we are going to learn how to prevent duplication of record using Trigger. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Before going to code, let's understand this scenario first. In today's scenario, we are going to prevent duplicate account record from getting saved to database based on its name. And we will check duplication on both insert and update operation. Like if we are inserting an account and its name already present in database, then that record should not get saved and an error should get populated. So let's create our trigger. Name it. Duplicate is the trigger. Here we need to give our object name. But wait, which trigger should we use here? Before trigger or after trigger? Now see, we want to check account name before it gets saved to database. Therefore, we are going to use before trigger with both insert and update operation. We already have before insert. Let's use before update also. Now our first step is to add the name of record which is being inserted or updated in a set. So for that let's create a set first. String Also, we want our code to be executed before insert and before update operation, not on any other operation like before delete or after insert. Therefore, we are going to apply a check. This is before is insert, so is update. Now, whatever we will write inside this if condition will only be executed when these three will return true. Let's apply a null check over trigger dot new. Is empty and iterate over it. And now add names of account which is being inserted or updated inside this set. Let's add name So our first phase of trigger has completed. Now we just need to fetch all accounts whose names are in this set and after that we will put those accounts and name in a map. So first let's fetch it. Select from account where name in this set. Now we just need to put these names and accounts in a map. So for that, let's create a map. And name it existing SEC map. Here we have used a string data type because we are going to store name in it. Let's apply a null check over this list. Is empty. I trade over it. And put the name and account record inside this map. For that, let's copy this name. And put name and also account object. Now it's time to check account name and to show error. So let's apply a null check over trigger dot new. Is empty. Iterate over it.
and now if account name is present in this map then we are going to show error so for that we will check like this contains key if it contains key then we will show errors account name already exists so to check whether this map contains account name or not we have used contains key method see this string is a key of map and this account is the value and here we put account name in key and account in value and to check whether any value is present in key of this map or not we have used contains key method now if this condition will get true we will show error like this let's understand the flow of our trigger by a diagram in first step any record which is being inserted or updated we are storing its name to set and using this set we are fetching all accounts from database and in the next step we are storing those names and account in map so that we can apply a check that if the name we entered while inserting or updating an account is present in map then an error will come stating that this name already exists in org now let's deploy a trigger Okay, it is successfully deployed. Now it's time to check that whether our trigger is working fine or not. So for that, let's go to accounts. Click on new. Let's enter the name which is already present in our org. Let's enter test account. See, the error has come stating that account name already exists, which means there is already an account exist with same name. Let's try with some other name. Test Ninja. Click on save. Okay, it is saved. So our trigger is working fine on insert operation. Now it's time to check that whether our trigger is working fine for update operation also or not. So for that, let's update its name again to test account. Click on save. See the error has come again stating that account name already exists, which means our trigger is working fine for update operation also. That's it for today, guys. If you have any scenario or suggestion for me, then please comment. I would love to hear feedback from you. Thank you.